Hi guys, today we are going to discuss trigonometry function and identities. Given the question, the diagram shows a circle with center O and radius R. The points A and B lie on the circumference of the circle. That theta equals angle AOB AOB in question A if theta equals to 2 pi over 3 and R equals to 2 centimeters state in terms of pi mm -hmm. I the, the area of the sector AOB second the length of the arc AB question B Given that the area of the sector AOB is pi cm squared and the length of the arc ABC is pi over 3 cm, find the exact value of R and theta. Let's do question A first. To do question A part I, the area of sector AOB, we have to remember the formula for the area that is A equals to half R squared times theta. So we have the formula A equals to half times R squared times theta. And to get this question, to get the answer for this question, we need to Substitute the value of R with 2 cm and 2 square and the theta is 2 pi over 3. So we can count across this one and then we'll get 4 pi by 3 cm. Square. So this is done. Now to answer part II, we need to remember the formula. The length of arc AB equals to R times theta, which is equals to 2 times the theta is 2 pi by 3 dot is equals to 4 pi by 3 centimeters. So this is the length of arc AB 4 pi by 3 centimeters and the area is 4 pi by 3 cm square. Four pi by three cm. Right. Now let's go to part B. Part B. What part B says? It's underlined here. Part B says that given that the area of sector AOB is pi. Now the area is given. The area is. I C M square. So this is our area, and the length of arc is equals to pi by three C M. Now, part A we have to find the radius, and part B we have to find the theta. So we still use the same formula. Area is equal to half r squared times theta while length of arc is equal to r times theta. Now we have the key in here is r times theta is pi by 3 is pi by 3. So we can substitute here in here we have half r squared I separate into 
r times r n times theta. While we have the r times theta is pi by 3 here. Is pi by 3. Pi by 3. And the question is pi by 3. So, now I work on this one. So, this is equal to uh, r. Now, we have r times theta equals to pi by 3. Pi by 3 here. So, I take the pi by 3 from here. It's given from the question, pi by 3. Now, then we have a is equals to pi cm square. So a is equal to pi cm square. Pi cm square. So it's equals to um, pi by three. Now I can cancel out the pi and pi. Then we have r here. One is equal to r by six. Now to get r, we just have to times this. So we get r equals to 60n. So r is equal to 60n. 60n, and then it means how to get the theta. How to get the theta? To get the theta will be we just use this one. Pi by three equals to r, which is six. Which is six times the theta. Now to get theta is I just divide pi by three divided by six which is equals to pi by eighteen. So that will be our answer pi by eighteen. Reading. Okay. That's all for today. If there's any question, please feel free to write in the comment section. We'll surely reply to you. So, today's question is discussed with study with tuition online, mathematics, biophysics, chemistry. If you're interested to inquire about online tuition, please feel free to write to us in this email and if you like the video please give thumbs up and press the subscribe button and also notification ring so you'll keep be updated for our with our new videos because we will keep posting new question and also as well as past paper and the mark scale with step by step solution. Please check the link below in the video to find out more videos related to this topic. Thank you. God bless you.